IVF, the first option, if you are having difficulty conceiving. Oh my God, no, of course not. No, I mean, listen, uh, there are multiple options. I don't believe in first options or second options or third options. There's just options, right? And you have to determine what's best for you. So as a general rule, for any patient with infertility, your options are gonna be make more eggs. We can do that with medications um, and just have intercourse. Make more eggs and do insemination. Make more eggs a lot more and do IVF or go for surgical evaluation or additional testing to figure out what's wrong in the first place. Whether it's immune, microbiome, thrombophilia, genetic testing, uh, you know, whatever it is, whatever kind of testing you're looking at or surgery um, to evaluate to see if there is some reason that is identifiable that is the cause of your struggle and your infertility. This also must extend to the males where there is basic sperm testing and there is advanced sperm testing. So we've got tests for DNA fragmentation. We've got tests for oxidative reductive stress. We've got overnight survival. We've got hyaluronic acid binding tests. We've got um, the amount of uh, aneuploid sperm that are in the sample that we can look at. There's all sorts of more and more sperm tests that are available, all of which give us information on whether this is a male sourced problem or not. So these are all things you can look at and have evaluated. IVF is almost never the automatic go-to. It is extremely, extremely rare that anyone would automatically go right into an IVF cycle.